Hi, my name's Sam and I'm from SkySiv. And today we're going through and explaining what is structural analysis, finite element method, and how do structural engineers apply these every day to what they're doing. So structural analysis is a process of simulating a structure before you go out and build it. So structural engineers do this by applying loads to a model or some sort of simulated environment and looking at how the elements deflect and move under these live loads. So there's a few different ways that engineers can perform structural analysis. One is by hand, or we can look at more complex methods such as FEA, which will be the focus of this video. But typically the concepts are the same. You have some sort of model, you apply some loads, and you're looking at how the, the various components of that structure are behaving under those forces. And that's really all structural analysis is. So next we're going to look at a closer uh, explanation of what FEA or finite element analysis means. So FEA is a process of taking a larger component such as a slab, a beam or a column and pulling it into a smaller elements to be calculated individually. This allows the structural engineer to get more accurate results out of what they're designing. So take this rule for example. If this was a beam, say so it could be steel, it could be concrete, if I apply loads to it, it's going to bend or deflect. Now what I can do is break up this ruler into smaller segments, say one centimetre lines, and then calculate each individual result at, at each of those points. And that should give me a pretty good understanding of how that beam is deflecting. Now when a structural engineer uses FBA, they can use FBA in a number of different ways, depending on the elements that they're using. So for instance, in a beam, we'll use 1D elements. So these are just a line that's been incrementally separated into smaller elements that are still linear. And this is an example that we use in the ruler. So this is typically used for beams and columns where we don't need a, a huge amount of information, we just want to know what the forces are at each of the locations across the beam. Secondly, we have plates, which are 2D elements. Now they're 2D because obviously that's on a 2D plane. And what we're doing again is the same principle of extracting a smaller component, which is a 2D element, and looking at those internal member forces, or sorry, internal plate forces at each of these node locations. And typically a structural engineer will use uh, these types of elements for slabs or retaining walls. And then finally we have brick or 3D elements. Now these aren't used as much as uh, the 1D and 2D elements for structural engineers and typically used more for mechanical engineers or smaller components. But in certain cases you might want to use uh, brick analysis to look at things like connections or, or in some slabs. And in this case, we have a 3D brick that we're um, breaking up into small elements and then looking at that um, small element in more detail. So um, the, the, the main concept of FEA is pretty much uh, the same across all three. It's just what type of dimension your element has, whether it's 1D, 2D or 3D. But really, it's all the same process of taking something larger, breaking up into smaller elements, and then solving those elements individually to give you a good understanding of how that component is uh, behaving. Performing FEA by hand would be extremely complicated and time consuming, so we use software to solve this. Structural analysis software, such as the one shown here, SkySiv Structural 3D, is used to simplify the FEA process through a graphical interface and UI. There are three really important aspects to running a structural analysis. The first is the model itself. So here we've modelled out the, the beams and the columns using lines and points as known as nodes which connect these lines or beams. Secondly, we apply some loads. So here we have some distributed forces and these are, what, uh, these are the forces that are applied to the structural model to then analyse what's happening internally within these members. Finally, we have our boundary conditions, or our supports. This is what restrains our model against those applied forces. The structural analysis software will then break up these individual um, beams into smaller elements to then be analysed by the software. So in this example, we're breaking up each of these beams and columns into 10 smaller elements. I'll run the structural analysis, and then we can toggle on a result to review the individual results along each point of that member. So what that allows the engineer to do is to uh, take an otherwise very complicated process 
and simplify it into a clean and easy, easily readable uh, diagram. Along each of these points is an incremental result. So we can see it's broken up into 10 segments, each with its own individual uh, bending moment force in this example. And simplifying that into a diagram will show us the key points of interest, such as the max and minimum uh, bending moment forces.